So I just logged in here. You can see here, I have few uh, images are available here. Uh, let me just try my demo off and all these things are available here. Now Ansible, Terraform, all these images I have created. Now let's do here, whatever the images we have created, right? Whatever the images we have created. You know how to create the image, right? I'm not going to explain those images again, how to create the, how to build the image, right? From the Docker file. Suppose I need this particular image to be pushed in my, pushed to my Docker Hub, Docker Hub right? So what I'll do here, for that, you need to first log in. You need to first log into the Docker Hub. To log in that, you can use Docker login and the username, right? And then you have to provide the password. So what I can do, I can use Docker, login hyphen hyphen username equal to suppose in my case it is Ranji so I write login so it will ask for the password give the password it will give if it is succeeded yeah login is succeeded right now let's clear it out now I logged in to the registry what I can do now, we can just push it. To, to push this one, it's very simple. Use docker push command, then repository name and the image name. Okay. So our image, let's check it again. These are the image. Suppose I want to push this image, right? What I'll do here, use docker push, then registry name. My registry name is Ranjit Swain, right? Slash wave up, right? Wave up, then colon 1.0 suppose it entered so what happened here says the push reference refers to the repository yes correct but an image does not exist locally with tag ranjit swain yes. so before pushing this one your repository name should be like this okay to do that, what we can do, we have to just tag it with Docker image tag tag, right? Then what do you have to do to tag? Which one we have to tag? We have to tag wave up 1.0 to the registry name, right? So my registry name is Ranjit Swain slash wave up colon 1.0. First tag it. Now I tagged it, right? If I just check Docker image ls, see, this is, is now tagged. Now we can execute the push command. Now we can execute this push command to push to the register. Hit enter. See, it's now pushing. So before pushing it, make sure that your tag or repository name, whatever you are giving, you have this registry name or repository name added to the image. Now it is pushed, right? If I go here, we had these things, right? My demo of Terraform, Ansible, and Git. If I just refresh this one, we'll get another image uploaded or pushed here, right? See, this web app, few seconds ago, we added it. Now if I just go ahead and click it, we have this 1.0 tag. We have this 1.0 tag, and it says how we can use this one. Also, in your in your laptop, right? If I just, if you use Docker, okay. If you use Docker pull command, right? Suppose if I just click on this web app. Let's go back here. Okay, just go to web app. If I just uh, let's public view. See how we can use, you can use run docker pool Ranjit Swain web app. So suppose if you use it, you can create a container from this image also in your site, right? Now let's go back. We have 1.0, suppose I want to push another tag, what I can do? You can just use first tag it, right? I want to, suppose this 1.2 version also, I want to upload it, right? So what I can do first tag this 1.2 with the repository name and image name, hit enter, and then you can just push it. 
1.2. This thing is a pussy, right? Hit enter. It's pussy. Done, right? Now what happens if I just go ahead and rephrase it? See, we have this 1.2 also. Few seconds ago, 1.2. If I just somebody, if you want to use this 1.2, you can just use Docker. Let me just do that. Okay. What I can do if I want to create a container from that, you just use Docker run, right? I can change, I can have a name, my uh, two, suppose. And then what I can do, just publish it. I can hit video, column, H, give image. So what will happen here? First, it will locally check in your laptop. If it does not exist, then pull out from my registry. Pull out from my registry. So which one is my registry? This Ranjit Swain is the my registry one, right? Now hit enter. So it found locally because it is locally also available, right? If not, then it will pull out from locally and create it. Now the container is created. So if I just use here docker dot ranjit swain and 8080, right? See, we have this things created. Okay. Now this is how you have to use it.